Mm. Um, you know, now you can sort of go online and see what your guy's up to. So how do you, how do you guys, <laughs> I've never done that. No. No. <laughs> yeah, Facebook stalking is really <laughs> So um, I guess along those lines, how have you guys seen social networking sort of affect your experience in college? I think it's definitely a way to creep on people yeah. um, and check it out. If you didn't go to a party, but you know your boyfriend did. Yeah. Right. I know yeah. plenty of girls yeah. who are like, oh, have you seen the pictures? Have they been posted yet? Like, I have to check. Who is he talking to? Oh, my gosh, he's pictured with that girl. And like, who is she? I don't know everything mm -hmm. about her. So I and think I, it definitely can be I think treacherous. that everything that we do now is very public. It's, it's much more. Public. People are going to know. People are going to take pictures. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to take of your friends or of you. And it's just you have to be more careful now because mm -hmm. everything's out there. Whether you want to want them posted or not, yeah. people Someone's are going to post them. them. Yeah. And once they're on Facebook, they're it's free game. Free game for everyone online, and yeah. which then they can be reposted elsewhere. And once it's up, like you can't control yeah. it anymore. Right. We talk about social networking on Teen Talk Live, my mm -hmm. radio mm -hmm. show, and that's one of the main things that girl says is their biggest regrets. Like, I wish I didn't publicly display myself mm -hmm. that way because, yeah. unfortunately, some of those pictures you just can't delete. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, for the future relationship they're in, they get to see what you were doing in the past relationship, or they're really seeing what you've been doing on the weekends. It's like, that is the way that sometimes people judge you before they know you because people can Facebook stalk you. So it's like, you know, pick and choose wisely what you want to put out there for everyone to know. And, you know, I think that one of the worst things girls can do today is put their cell phone number and their address. Yeah, exactly. And oh, yeah. that is a big no-no, especially for those creepers. Right. I mean, yeah. it depends also how selective your circle is, because mm -hmm. if you only have, you know, 100 friends or mm -hmm. 200 friends, but really your friends, then putting your phone number up there, you can make your profile private right. so no one sees it. I used to mm -hmm. work at Facebook, so I know all that. <laughs> um, so you can be safe. You just yes. need to know the ways to be safe um, on there. You can make it so your profile is only searchable. Um, by people who are friends of your friends and things like that. So tag you know. pictures to friends only. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. You can do that, but you can't control what other people are posting on their pages about you. So I have a good question actually. What about the, you know, age old question of when do you or not age old, new question, when do you change your Facebook relationship status? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> when you go FBO. FBO, yeah. 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 FBO, what's FBO? Facebook official. Facebook official. Oh serious. Of a hassle than anything else. I yeah. did it like all through high school, and I did it the first couple years of college. But I don't think I'll ever do it again. I took the whole thing off completely because I, I think it's just yeah. it's nobody's business. Whoever needs to know does know, and whoever's involved will know. And I don't think yeah. it's like for the world to see and all my like high school friends and bosses and everyone I else. I couldn't believe with. it that with the past relationship that I just got into, I kept my status as single for a long time because I didn't even think about it. FBO. Yeah. It's like, but then, <laughs> but then once I changed my status to in a relationship, I was just like, I can't believe I just con conform to yeah, like the Facebook yeah, yeah. society. But it's really like, that's how people know you're not mm -hmm. available. And it's just the way that our generation is. And you can either mm -hmm. Go with it or not, but I mean, if you're proud to be in the relationship with someone, I don't think it's that big of a deal. There's this huge issue right now going around with bullying yeah. and how people are getting bullied in high school. I know in college, the, you know, it gets better. And, and getting picked on the internet is called cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. I mean, it even has its own term now. That's how bad the problem is. 50% of students today say publicly that they have been cyberbullied. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, we've been, there's been so many recent news stories, especially along the East Coast, that cyberbullying has led to some suicide. Mm -hmm. And it's like, people don't know that a, a wall post could be like the last step in some, you know, in someone's level of tolerance. And they, that could push them over the edge. Have you guys seen it? I think it's definitely a huge issue. Yeah. There's websites that are just all about them. One, Diego Gone Dirty, where there's people can go on your Facebook, find an embarrassing picture of you, and then they post it, and then everyone writes comments on it, or there's gossip things where someone will start like, who's the biggest slut? in this sorority and oh then everyone goodness. will and all the guys will post That's and terrible. or who's it's, that fat cow yeah, yeah like, or just mean things and mm. they'll really post pictures things. and like oh she looks fat here but it's people get repeatedly posted mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i mean and that's like, cyberbullying that's yeah. exactly yeah. what yeah. cyberbullying is well i definitely hope everyone here would take a stand against that mm -hmm. and not be a yes, part of that and everyone watching because you know cyberbullying is very real today and you know you know, we definitely don't want to be doing that. So, thank you guys so much for being here. This was so fun. I don't have any girlfriends in San Diego yet, so I feel like this is like my girl time. It's so much fun. But um, you can check out Ke uh, Chelsea Cross uh, on Teen Talk Live, Teen Talk and Live. you can also find out her information on our website. You can go to fox5sandiego.com. Thank you.
Yeah, thanks girls. Thank, Thank you. you.